Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Gravity Turn, which is being made by forum user OverEngineer1. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an automated launch system, or autopilot rather, that looks to give you the most efficient gravity turn into space possible. And I love that, because, well, one, I actually really like autopilot programs in this game because I'm kind of a crappy pilot. And two, I waste a lot of fuel in my rockets. It's one of my biggest problems in this game. I always burn way more fuel than I need to to do a simple job. And so with this, this mod can help me get that most efficient of launches into space so that I end up with the right amount of fuel rather than clamoring at the end of a mission to go, oh god, I'm almost out of fuel, we gotta get this just right. And it's it's basically saved a couple of my missions so far, and that's why I have fallen in love with it. Now, some of you may be wondering, because it is an autopilot, well, why not just use MechJeb? That's pretty much the go-to for the vast majority of the community, and while I do love MechJeb, and I do think it's a great program, the problem with it is that it is very much a jack-of-all-traits, master-of-none sort of a mod, whereas Gravity Turn is really looking to be that master of just one thing and one thing alone. Mech Jeb will get you into space, sure, but it will do anything it has to to get you there, even if that means burning a bit more fuel than it needs. Whereas Gravity Turn is looking to get you into that just right orbit so that you have the most efficient trip possible to burn as little fuel. And that's where I really like this and prefer it over Mech Jeb. And to make it better, it actually does integrate in with MechJeb, so once Gravity Turn finishes its thing, it will automatically hand over control to MechJeb so that you can then do whatever you want with that. So I do like that it has integration there, so you can use both of them simultaneously. Uh, but yes, there's no part or anything like there is with MechJeb to attach to our ship, so we can just go and grab, let's say, the Kerbal X and go to launch it and show you how this all works, and also show you one of the other reasons I really love this mod. Now to turn it on, we just need to hit this little turn button here, and we get the gravity turn interface, and this is another reason why I do like this mod. MechJeb can sometimes feel a little bit cheaty because you really just type in your orbit that you want and hit go, whereas this, it gives you control if you want it, to each of the individual parameters for your gravity turn. Now you can hit best guess of settings and it will automatically figure everything out for you, but if you do want to change the start speed or the angle or anything like that, you can customize it to exactly what you think is best if you don't want to hand over complete and total control to the autopilot. And now what each of these different individual parts mean the start meters per second here is when your craft will begin its gravity turn. So it will start once it hits 100 meters per second. Now, it will then turn at an angle of 10 degrees. So that is our turn angle here. Uh, now these next two, oh God, I kind of think I'll have a hard time explaining it here, but it'll, I'll be able to show it to you much better once we're in flight. But we have the hold AP time start, which basically will hold the craft at 40 seconds to the apoapsis of your flight path. And the more you change this, the shallower or more steep your turn will become. And you'll start the time at 40 seconds and then you can finish it at holding another time. So you can change it to hold it at 50 or less, whatever you desire. Again, kind of weird to explain it here. I'll be able to show it much better once we're in flight. And eventually, though, this time finish will be completely useless because it does have to get you up to your destination altitude here, which is set at 80 kilometers by default. These are all the default numbers that you start the mod with, which gives you a basically a perfectly efficient gravity turn into orbit. And uh, the sensitivity here, I did accidentally skip over that, is basically the minimum throttle that you want the gravity turn to use. So it won't go over, or under rather, 
0.2. Now that's uh, about 20%. Uh, the sensitivity is from 0 to 1, uh, so a point 0.2 would be like roughly 20% down here, and that's the minimum throttle it will use to fly. It shouldn't go below that, but it'll definitely use above that. Now, the roll is quite interesting. If, say, perhaps you have a shuttle and you want it to roll during flight to a specific position to get you just where you need to be for, say, docking or something like that, you can put that in here. And by the end of your gravity turn, it will be at a 90 degree angle from where it started. And the pressure cutoff is quite interesting. This was added in basically so that this could be used on multiple planets because this is running calculations on the fly and well there's different calculations for when your rocket is flying through atmosphere than there are for when it's flying through vacuum because of course physics are different between atmosphere and vacuum well at least how you your ship reacts to things and so you can put a pressure cutoff here between the atmosphere calculations and the vacuum calculations and you can change this to whatever the planetary atmosphere or pressure is for whatever body you're taking off from. So you can change this for Duna or Eve or wherever you're landed to make sure that you still get that perfect gravity turn. Now we do have auto staging here if you want to hand over your staging to the computer. And again, the best guess settings that you can click and it'll auto calculate everything. And then of course launch. Now if you ever forget any of these when you are playing with this, if you do give it a go, uh, we do have these lovely handy dandy question marks which will show you all of this. Uh, which is quite, quite good. I, I was very happy about that. Though this one, this gravity turn help for these two is, uh, God, it's still kind of hard to understand. So like for this one, the hold AP time start, starting value of time to prograde, higher values will make a steeper climb. That's not exactly the most helpful of hints, but... Like I said, it'll be a lot more clear when we're actually in flight. So what we're going to do, we're just going to leave it at these settings and hit launch. And I'm going to keep my hands off the keyboard so that, well, I'm not affecting this in the slightest. So let's just hit launch. There we go. It automatically does the staging, so we don't have to worry about doing any of that. We just have to sit and wait. Now remember, it'll start the turn once we hit 100 meters per second. So we're almost there. Excellent. And it's beginning its turn. So that is quite good. Now, of course, it's going to start a uh, slow turn as we go along. And it is, of course, going all the way up on the throttle for now to get that good initial burst of speed. And remember, later on, it will throttle back down, but it won't go below that sort of 20% line. Now, as we get higher in altitude, let's actually go to the map real quick. Is it visible now? Almost. Almost. So let's go back in. And yeah, still not touching anything. It's doing its job, and it's doing it well. You can see it has throttled down to about 50% or so. Again, remember, it's trying to get to the most efficient turn possible rather than the quickest bout into space, which is usually my problem in this game. I want to get into space so badly I burn way too much fuel. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Now, we should be able to see this hold AP time start quite well now. So if we zoom in, you'll see our apoapsis and our time to the apoapsis is 40 seconds. That's what that is. It is going to hold us at 40 seconds roughly. It'll usually vary by a second or so. It'll hold us at 40 seconds to the apoapsis for the duration of the turn. Now, once we get towards the end of the turn, it would be at this particular time. And then it, of course, will just keep on increasing that time because it has to then get us to the proper destination height, which means, of course, that apoapsis is going to shoot all the way to the other side of the planet. But during the primary turn, it will keep us at this 40 seconds from the apoapsis, which is quite handy. And if you do increase the value, it will make for a steeper climb. Uh, so that is what you'll be changing there. And yeah, you'll see it's just holding it at that between 39 to 40 seconds. I've never seen it go up to 41 seconds. So yeah, it seems to be minus a second or so. Usually it'll fluctuate, but it'll go quite well. I'm quite, I've been quite happy about it. And so you can see right here is having the time to match. And eventually, by the time it finishes that main turn, it would switch over to here, of course, if we changed that. But of course, we have kept it the default. 
so we shouldn't have to worry about it at all. And we are doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. We're only about 40,000 meters right now, but that will change drastically over time. And we've still got, wow, wow, we're just below 50% on our resources. So that's, uh, that's going quite well for us. It's doing a very efficient turn. Now, whenever I've launched the Kerbal X into orbit, by this point I would have been done with the main tanks already and on to the, uh, the smaller stage up here. <laughs> but again, that's because I am definitely not an efficient pilot in this game. And you can see now it is throttled down to that 20% right there. Uh, and it won't go below that throttle, of course, until it finishes the gravity turn. Now, while we're waiting for it to finish the gravity turn, which it should start getting good here momentarily, I should mention one thing. This is, again, a, a program that just wants to be a master of one thing, and that's a gravity turn. So when it finishes the gravity turn, the apoapsis will be at 80 kilometers, but your periapsis will not. It will be much lower. So you will still have to circularize your orbit with a quick burn at the apoapsis point, which actually we're almost there. So you can see it is, of course, floating away from the 42nd time, but there we go, 80 kilometers. But sadly, our periapsis is at roughly 45 kilometers. So yeah, you still have to do a final burn once you do get back up to the apoapsis to circularize your orbit, which is one of the reasons why I do like the MechJeb integration. Because right now, if I would have had MechJeb installed, it would have handed over control to MechJeb. MechJeb would have fast forwarded till we got to the apoapsis, did the burn, and then been happy and yay, we're in a nice circular orbit. But this mod, again, is a master of one thing, and that's gravity turns. And over the course of this flight, it has uh, done a very good job. We're still on this initial stage, and we still have fuel left. And that's more than I could say for any launch I've ever done with this craft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's 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 quite efficient, quite good. I don't think I've ever ended up with this stage at this point having any fuel left, but this mod does it well. And again, if you want to adjust any of these parameters to something you believe is a bit better, you can do that. You aren't stuck with just what this program thinks you should do. So if you want to change this to a start speed of 50 meters per second, a turn angle of 20 and the hold time of 30 seconds whatever you want to do you can change it here or if you're like me and not good at flying you can just hit the best guess and it'll take care of everything for you and i just love it so if you would like to check this mod out for yourself which i definitely would suggest going and giving it a try it is very useful you can check out the link in the description as always but yeah that is going to be it for this episode my friends i hope you all have enjoyed it of course that you do come back for the next but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one <laughs>